Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Get By Example series. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, be sure to check out this playlist to get caught up and be sure to get subscribed to me so you don't miss any of the future episodes. So today we're going to take the work that we've been doing locally and finally push them to a remote server, specifically at GitHub. So some of the stuff I'm going to be doing in the command line here, which is pretty much just going to be one command, uh, is also going to be applicable to other distributed version control software providers. So that would be something like Git Bucket or GitLab as well. Um, but today I'm really going to be focusing on GitHub and I'm going to be focusing on GitHub a lot more in a later episode so I recommend that that's what you use. So to begin you're going to have to sign up for a GitHub account if you haven't already uh, so go ahead and pause the video while you do that and another thing you're definitely going to want to do is add an SSH key for your machine to your GitHub account uh, which I will leave a link to in the link bank linked down below. Um, so it will be way easier to deal with and it's also more secure than logging in through from your command line through a username and password. Uh, I've left a tutorial on how to do that in the link bank, uh, as I just said. So now that we're signed up and you have your SSH set up, we can go ahead and jump in and create our remote repository. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and just click, let me zoom in here a little bit just so you can see it a bit better. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on this plus in the upper right corner, and then we're going to select new repository. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give our repository a name. So we're gonna, we can call this like git x or something like that and just say uh, this repository is the remote uh, is what I am using as an example for my git by example series. So we can go back and add more stuff to that later. Um, but for now, we can just go ahead, we're going to put that on public for now. And since we are going to keep working on our old repository, I am not going to click any of the initialize repository with um, commands right here. So from there, we're just going to go ahead down and click create repository. So once we do that, uh, we will go ahead and be greeted by this screen right here. So from this screen, what we can go ahead and do is we can see here that we have this URL right here on the SSH version of this. So this is just the actual Git URL for our repository. Uh, and also it talks about how you can actually do this here. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you can go ahead and just flip on back over to your terminal. And what we're going to do is now that we make sure you're in your repository when you're on this, and you're just going to run it git remote add origin, and then the actual URL. So now that we've done that, we have our or our remote set up. So now we can go ahead and push our repository to the new remote. So to do this, what we're going to do for now is just git push origin master because if you remember origin is the remote that we just added and master is our main branch it, remember if we have switched over to using main as the name of the main branch then you're going to use main there instead so uh if we haven't tackled branching yet so this is the only thing that you're going to want to push because everything that you've done so far is on master so we can go ahead and run that so now if we go ahead and flip back over to here and we refresh the page, then you're going to see that now all of our stuff is put into our repository right here. So now it is fully available on GitHub. So now that we have this repository in GitHub, we can go over some of the remote specific commands. So the commands that I'm going to detail here are only really useful when you have multiple people working on a project, uh, or at the very least, you're working on that project from multiple machines. Otherwise, if you're just working on one project from one machine at a time, you can just do everything as normal and then just push it every so often. But now we're going to jump into the actual ways that we interact with remotes. So one of the main things you often have to do when you are working with others on a remote repository is pulling changes from remote down to your local machine. So let's say that someone else just pushed a new feature to your remote repository and you need to pull it down. To do this, we can run git pull. So if we go ahead and flip back on over to our terminal here, what we can just do is if we just run it git pull, then you're going to see we have to go ahead and set up something like this, but you can also just run the full version of it, which is just going to be git pull origin master, uh, as we saw before. And you're going to see here that we do that, and it's exactly already up to date because we didn't push any new changes. Um, so git pull is essentially combining two different commands, which are git fetch. Um, so for that, you, you would just run git fetch and run dash dash all if you want to get every branch. Uh, and that's going to download all of the data from your remote repository to your local machine. 
So any changes that happen are gonna be downloaded. And then after that is run, it's essentially running git merge. And what git merge does, we're going to get a lot more into merging uh, in just a little bit once we tackle branches. But what merging does is it essentially takes those changes that you just pulled down and it's going to go ahead and integrate those into your actual working directory. So now that we're all set up and we understand the basics of GitHub, the next important thing to learn before we can go further is branching. So we actually just dealt with essentially a second branch in a way uh, because our origin remote is has a bunch of remote branches on it. So that's going to be it for this video, just a very basic introduction to GitHub. And I will see you in the next one where we're going to start tackling branching uh, over the next two episodes. And then we're going to do more intense GitHub stuff and then move forward from there. So I'm very much looking forward to those. I hope you stick with me. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and get subscribed so you don't miss any of the future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.